Hi everyone, welcome here and today in my hand I have this. So this is an ESC from red brick. You can see here is the red brick banding over here. So you can see this is red brick and this is positive, this is negative. That means this red one is positive, this black one is negative. And these are the connecting wires for the motor A, B, C and here's the red brick branding and it's a 50 amp ESC and you can see it's support for LiPo 2S to 7S and for nickel metal hydride it's 4S to 12S and I can say it's the best ESC in its class which I ever use because it's a 50 amp Opta ESC that means this red one this red wire is useless because it's an Opta ESC and it can't provide you 5 volt output so if you are going to use this ESC, you need a separate BEC for powering up your other electronic components. So let's measure it weight. So for this purpose, I am using this weight machine. So its weight is 42.1 gram. So it's pretty heavy ESC. And if you want to buy this weight machine, then the link is in the description box below. Or if you want to buy this one, the link also is in the description box below so now let's measure its dimension so its length is actually 4 cm and its width is 3 and half cm and the thickness is 1 and half cm so dimension wise it's not a very big ESC but it's little bit heavy but I can say it's the best ESC you can get because of its performance I connected this ESC with this motor you can see it's a racer star motor it's 2826 motor 1290 kV motor and it's a very power hungry motor and I connected it with this and then the propeller was this one so the size of the propeller is 10 by 4.5 and I ran it for 15 minutes in full throttle with this 4S LiPo and I can say you one thing the result is pretty shocking after 15 minutes of runtime in full throttle it's just a little bit warm and when the throttle is below 70% it's not even warm so it's a very good ESC and the heat management is very good you can see so this one is the aluminium heat sink and here is also a heat sink you can see here is also a heat sink and this is a heat sink so the heat management is very very good in this ESC I have another ESC so this is the another ESC you can see there is also a heat sink it's a 30 amp ESC but if I ran it with 3S LiPo and without load with this motor or 20 to 12 any 1000 kV motor without load i mean without any propeller it become very very hot you can't even touch it with your bare hand but this one stays cool so it's a very good esc because if your esc get hot then there is a chance of shutdown of the esc and if you shut down your esc in the middle of the flight then you know what will be the result you eventually crash your plane so i recommend everyone to buy this esc so the purchase link is in the description box below and I can assure you it's not a paid promotion. I am talking like this because this is the best ESC I have ever used. That's why I am sharing my experience with you guys. So please buy this and try this one. It's a very good ESC. If you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and share this video to everyone. And also thanks for watching.